yeah, so I actually have come up with a little list um, of common soup-based dishes in Singapore. Uh, mostly, of course, local based. Lah. So what you can see, like things like fish soup, prawn noodles. You also have like lontong, kambing soup. I think you like, you know, maybe things like lor mee, all that, a bit too thick for, to be like a soup. Hey, what's Jack? Hey, Ray Ray, what's going on, Ray Ray? Um, I've got a plan. That's right, plan. What plan, ah? For the redo, the, the one that you're talking about. Yes, that's Basket, right. Basket, you forgot, right? No, 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 no. Of course I remembered, Ray Ray. Of course I forgot. So, I've compiled a list of all the soups that we can base the broth on. Very nice. Mm. You know what, Ray? I feel like some fish soup today. Exactly. Fish soup. What? You got it there? Yeah. So, I made this chart where we can try fish soup, prawn noodle, soup kambing, lontong. And also, I outlined all the pros and cons. Fish soup because makes I thought we need to identify day. what kinds of taste we want to go into the ramen I, soup yeah, itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. And I've also made this long list of local Damn, soups. It's Sunday. So, what we can do is we can they look at open. each one. And then after that, we can consider which ones we want to eliminate and then try the rest. Correct. But you know what, Ray Ray? Mm. I know a really famous prawn noodle shop nearby. Famous prawn noodles? Around here? Where? I'll take you there, Ray. It's solid stuff. But I've got all the other soups. I've prepared all this information, man. Trust me, dude. Just follow my lead. All right, all right. I think it's somewhere here, Ray Ray. It's got to be somewhere here. Are you sure you know where it is? Prawn me, prawn me. Excuse me, do you know what I'm saying? Prawn me, prawn me. Da, 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 da. Boss, it's this way, right? It's this way. Let's go. I have a feeling, Ray Ray, it's coming. What's coming? Prawn me is <laughs> coming. Oh my god, prawn finally. Prawn me. Hey, basket, this is a massage. Hey, wrong, 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 wrong. Next stop, next stop. Asing! Can we get two bowls of prawn noodle? Maybe one soup, one dry. Okay, no problem. Uh, noodles, yellow or mixed? What do you want? Mm, mixed. Set. Both mixed. mixed. Okay, dry with chili, yeah? Huh? Yes, sir. Okay, no problem. Let's do it. Wow. Wow, well, the broth, man, is, is light. You know, yet it's still tasty. Then there's some kind of potency behind it, man. I told you, right? I never bluff you one. I actually think this broth would go pretty well with our ramen. I wonder what kind of ingredients are in it, man. Hey. Mm. You know what? Let me go ask Asing. You know him? Yeah. Asing, Asing. Asing. Asing, you are so good. My friend has a problem. Wow, your tongue is very good. It's very good. We have to make ramen noodles. So, how do we make the soup so tasty and flavorful? Like, is there a special ingredient? We use the most delicious materials. We use the big and the big and the big and the big and the big to get out of the taste. That's it. It's all about the, the freshness. freshness. Asing, asing. Then, your the what's the secret? Uh? How come so shock uh, the sauce? I think the chili is our own special blend. Uh. We blend the chili ourselves. So that's our secret. Uh. Wow, very nice. Asing, really thank you. What uh, name is Asing? I didn't really know the guy. I don't think his name was even Asing. <laughs> but you know what? I'm sure I was close. It's very simple. Uh. Our recipe is just uh, what we use. So we just use the freshest ingredients, that's all. Uh, the Nohyang pairing with the prawn noodles was started by my uncle who operates a shop at uh, East Coast Road. Basically, all our family stores follow the same tradition of pairing the Nohyang and prawn noodles together. Where are you going? Uh? We're going to Upper Boon Keng Hawker Centre. Okay. Why are you not wearing mask? I'm in my car. Hang in there! should be here. Okay. Hey Jack, you think you missed the turn? Man? Okay, 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 okay. You turn, you turn, you turn, you turn, you turn. Welcome to Upper Boon King. Sister! Hello, hi. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. Can we order two wonton mee, please? Of course. Any chili? Yes. Extra. <laughs> Sister, I'll ask you, what do you want to put in the wonton mee? Uh, we use the wonton mee to make the wonton mee. The wonton mee and the wonton mee are made. They do everything themselves, the yeah. most of the ingredients. That must be one of the secrets. I think so. Getting a good... Everything you know, looks really fresh and really nice. Mm. I think the first thing that hits you is the chili. Go punch. <laughs> How's the wonton? Mm. You know, sometimes I don't like the wonton have too much meat 
You know, the, yeah. the good balance between skin and, 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 and the minced meat. Sisters, meat, minced meat inside, it's just the right amount. It's awesome. Yeah. After this, mm. we're gonna try some soup kambing. No way. Don't mess. That's gonna be interesting. This is it, man. Famous place. Wow. Guaranteed. Let's see, right? Mutton soup is a bit more robust, rich. That's right. And um, the difference with mutton soup and some of the other soups we tasted, like those are flavorful but kind of light in texture. You know, it's also got that, the taste of those spices. You kind of get that flavor. You know, amongst all the soups we've tried, including this kambing soup, yep. the balance, lah. The balance is amazing. You know, you really can taste everything. How we can blend this taste with noodles because we, because ramen, we need to put the noodles in it, right? That's true. I think, I think we should definitely take some inspiration from the notes and the spices that really come from the kambing soup. Mm. Hey, this is amazing, Ray Ray. Mm. This is like your heritage, Ray Ray. Thanks for bringing me here, man. No, no problem. Hey, what's this? Uh? I really like it, you know. Why, Jack, that's the goat testicle. I mean, obviously, that is the secret ingredient. Uh. <laughs> I always thought mutton soup was kind of starchy. You know, sometimes the mutton tastes quite strong. But today's soup, it's amazing. The, the, the spices, the, the, even the, the, the taste of the mutton, everything is so well balanced. I'm going to find out what the secret ingredient is right now. Hello, boss. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi. Hey, Ray. Yes. I know, boss. I know, everybody. Yeah. I know, boss. Boss, we met before. Your name is? My name is Dean. Dean. I knew it. Okay. Anyway, boss, okay. because we want to make a local soup, so we're trying to find out all the different ingredients in different kinds of soup. Oh, so right. we wanted to find out what is it that goes into a mutton soup. That's right, sir. What is it? Yeah, so what kind of uh, yeah. things go into yeah, a kambing soup? Secret? Like? Yeah. Oh, our secret has a lot of uh, spices inside. Wow. Yeah. Oh, like what kind of spices? Like what kind of spices? Yeah. Ah, better right, 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 right. Ah. Cinnamon. 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 Red, you know, red chilies. Curry. And green chili. Red, green red chili. Green chili. Green chili. Green chili. Green chili. Ginger. Ginger. Garlic. Ginger. Garlic. Garlic. You know, I love what? garlic. Indian, Indian spices. Indian spices. Very, very. Yeah, so quite a lot of Indian spices. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's right. Wow, wow. Boss, mm. thank you for sharing your secret with us. But before we run off, boss, one more important question is, if Liverpool plays Manchester United, who will you support, boss? I'll support Liverpool. Yeah. I feel like we are getting somewhere. Yeah, fat pigeon. We put the ramen. It's like we are so close to getting what we want. So close. Look at this spread, Ray Ray. I think we are going to find the secret after sampling all this. Okay, I have no idea what Jack is on, alright? We've had a lot of pretty good stuff, but wow, everything is like this big roja in my tummy now. Huh. Riri, uh. come on, one more dish to try. Uh. You've got to trust me on this. Uh. Riri, I cannot, I cannot. Hey ho, Riri, I seriously can't eat anymore, man. You've got to trust me, Riri. This pachomi is the best in Singapore. I guarantee if you try it, you're gonna be hungry again. Really? Confirm. The best bachomi. Best bachomi. Don't tell me you know the guy also. You think I know everyone, man? Hey, Jack. Hey, Lao Pan. Wow, Lao Pan. Today, two big plates. La Jiao Chu. All of them. Okay, go. Okay. Mm. Mm. Well, Jack, what is this sorcery? I told you, there's something special about this place. Right. But there must be some kind of special ingredient that they're using. Riri, I tell you what, why don't you go up to the boss and ask him what the secret ingredient is? And he's just going to tell me what the secret ingredient is. Trust me, Riri. Wow, boss, that was good, man. Don't, don't mind, can we ask you a few questions about the bachomi? Sure. 
Yeah, so you know, Jack and I were trying to make our own Singapore version of a ramen. So we want to like find different flavors hey, boss, and make. Guys, watch your sauce, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll carry on. Yeah, so we want to find some different flavors, you know, to to like local flavors to make like a local version of what we could call a ramen. So like your recipe, is it like a family recipe that has been passed down for many years or or something like that? Uh yes. Uh usually customer uh, come back here for the noodle is uh because of a chili sauce. Oh, yeah. okay. So it's the the chili sauce is like a homemade chili sauce. Yes, it's a homemade chili sauce. It's our family oh, recipe. Okay, okay. Oh. Is it very secret? Um, Wait, boss, so boss. We we need to go. Thank you, the owner. Okay, really good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Well, thanks so much, right. man. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, Ray Ray, let's give this baby a taste. Cheers. Mm. Wow, Jack, it's vinegar lah. No, Ray Ray, trust me, it's the secret sauce. It's vinegar. It might not be vinegar. It could be the secret ingredient. I don't know about you, but this definitely tastes like vinegar to me. In any case, mm. they don't put vinegar into the broth. They actually add it to the dry noodles to enhance the noodles' taste. Exactly, Ray Ray. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Mm. You find the ramen and the noodle? No! We are going to make our own ramen. Dude, how do you expect us to make our own ramen? I can barely even cook, let alone make noodles. Don't worry, Ray Ray. Got it all figured out. It's really easy. All you need is the right amount of flour. And with your hands, we gently stretch the noodles. And then we knead and pull and knead and pull. And suddenly, all these lovely strips of noodles will pop out. Just like that. All you need are really strong arms. Mm-hmm. It may be their restaurant, but it's my kitchen. I need to teach these boys a lesson so they know their place. Did you see that? Did you see thumbs up, Riri? I think Julia is absolutely excited about our idea. Thumbs up, yo! Make noodles. Somehow in this kitchen. This place much a minefield, lah, day. Thank you.